Hi everyone, this is Nurse Ryan, and today we're going to be talking about the drug pregabalin, also known by the brand name Lyrica. You can use the timestamps in the video description to jump ahead. Pregabalin belongs to the anti-epileptic and analgesic drug classifications. Now, the exact mechanism of action of pregabalin is actually still unknown. In very basic terms, we can say that pregabalin works on the nerves of our central nervous system to help prevent seizures and pain. It's not too important that we get really deep into the mechanism here, but if you're interested, pregabalin binds to the alpha-2 delta sites in the central nervous system tissues. Basically, it can be used for different nerve issues, which we'll cover here. So pregabalin can be used in the treatment of partial seizures, usually as an additive or adjunct treatment option. Pregabalin is also used in the treatment of postherpetic neuralgia, which is a fairly common complication of shingles. Postherpetic neuralgia may present as a painful burning or stabbing sensation, which may continue long after the shingles rash and blisters go away. And pregabalin can also be used in the management of fibromyalgia, pain associated with diabetic peripheral neuropathy, and neuropathic pain associated with spinal cord injuries. Pregabalin is structurally similar to the inhibitory neurotransmitter called GABA, where pregabalin gets its name from, but it has no direct effects on GABA receptors. Just some of pregabalin's side effects include dizziness, somnolence, dry mouth, edema, blurred vision, weight gain, and more. Avoid use of pregabalin in those with elevated creatinine levels, or in those with myopathy. Safety in children or during pregnancy and breastfeeding has not yet been established. It's important to be aware of the possible interactions with pregabalin as well. There may be an increased risk for CNS depression if used with other CNS depressants, like alcohol, opioids, or benzodiazepines, just for example. Dosing often starts around 50 to 75 milligrams, two or three times a day. Older adults may require lower dosing. As with most medications, do not discontinue pregabalin abruptly, but instead gradually taper the dose according to the provider's instructions. It may take over a week to taper off pregabalin safely to reduce the risk of rebounding and having seizures. And that's about it for the basics of pregabalin. If this video has helped you out, please consider leaving a like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. If you have any questions or would like me to review a specific drug or topic, Please let me know in the comments and thanks for watching.